All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into today's video, uh, the giveaway video is still up and running. Um, it will be uh, taken down and the giveaway video for the winner will be up around this evening, uh, this afternoon to this evening. Um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, head on over when you get a chance, get yourself entered and uh, good luck to everybody. So today we're going to be checking out this MRE Star. Uh, this is another menu that I've got. This is menu three, chicken noodle stew with vegetables. I'm not sure how I sound here. Probably not one of my favorite menus to be honest, but uh, we'll uh, go ahead and give it a look and see what we got in here. Again, I have no idea what the date was of these and I still haven't been able to really find out, but I don't, I think that these are pretty old. Um, Especially from the ingredients that we had uh, last time. Some of them didn't hold up very well. But anyway, let's get into this one and see what we got. And also, um, if you can take a moment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Support the channel, it'd be awesome. Oh, already dropping stuff. And one of the reasons why I think this is a really old, older ration is because some of the MRE stuff, I've, or at the MRE Star, the packages are completely rebranded. And I actually have something that I can show you guys later. So, anyway, let's get into this. Let's see what we got. We got a accessory pack, or a cutlery kit, whatever you'd like to call it. We have a very large spoon, lemon scented moist wipe, some pepper, some creamer, that feels okay, uh, it's an instant coffee, feels a little cardboardy, that was a pack of salt that just hit the floor, guess I'm going to drop everything on this video. And we've got a napkin here. I don't know what's going on. Nothing wants to stay on the table today. Let's see what we got here. We have a pack of nut raisin mix. No date code at all. Okay. Oh yeah, you can you can art. This is not going to be good. You can already tell in there. But this is a powdered drink, pink lemonade flavor. It's also in Spanish too, which is kind of cool, which is odd though. Uh, but it's cool. Pink lemonade flavored vitamin C added mixed with 12 ounces of water. But I can already tell you it's not good. Dried fruit. Pack of sugar cookies. Still no date code. We got our main, which I don't know what's kind of going on here. Like boxes. I don't know. That's not a date. One side is English, the other side is Spanish. Chicken noodle stew with vegetables. Yeah, I don't know. here there's just gonna be no date on this at all I don't see anything guys hmm couldn't tell you well this is our main here chicken noodle stew and it says number two actually so, yeah, we'll get into it and see what we got. Oh, we got one of these funky heaters that you you fill it here, comes down the funnel, right? Tear open the top, water funnels in. There's two sides in here, and then you fold it over so the water doesn't escape, and then you shove your meal in here. See, there's a heater there. 
and there's another heater in there so it's there's two heaters in here and then it gives you some silly instructions about how you're supposed to measure 50 milliliters of water now how are you going to do that without a measuring cup so um that's just uh i'm sure that they don't use these anymore this is an older system but yeah i'm not even going to measure that 50 milliliters to be honest i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to pour what i think i should pour in here let's see if you if you look in here this is the one side and then you flip this plastic divider over and that's the other side so i'm just going to measure a little bit of water on each side and see if this goes let me grab that pack of salt i'm actually going to try this pack of salt that came with it on one side and see if uh because last time they didn't really heat up that well so let's put it on this side. And then I'm just gonna pour. What I think is basically what I would pour into a regular MRE. I'm gonna pour it on this side. Not very much. I'll turn it over. I'll put my hand in here and see if it's. And I don't hear anything, period. Alright, well, we'll give this a couple of minutes and see if it does anything. Alright, so just like before, it's getting a little warm, but it's like getting warm like right up towards the top again. For some reason, the bottom elements do not want to... So you just slide it in. And, uh... We will continue to monitor it. And see what happens. I'll just leave it right there. So let's go ahead and get this out. Yeah, I, I uh, messaged the person that I bought these from and asked them what the deal was with how old they, th they thought they were. And they said that the, when they bought them a year ago, they were told they were fresh. Well, I think you're just blowing smoke up my butt because these are clearly not fresh MREs. But that's all right. We can still see what they were offering a few years ago with these. So here's our sugar cookies. And they don't smell good at all. They smell, they've got a stale smell to them for sure. If you have opened up enough older MREs, you know that stale smell that I'm talking about. It's like a chemical stale smell. Actually, um, I'm looking over here at this, uh, heater and it's actually got steam coming out and it's actually getting rather hot so this is our dry fruit there you go well, again it doesn't doesn't smell doesn't smell too good we got our Nut raisin mix. It's kind of cool to see a lot of fruit in the MRE. That's for sure. Okay. So we got raisins and some almonds and some sunflower seeds in there. Right. Now that one you can smell the sunflower seeds and the peanuts it's a little strong okay the moment you've all been waiting for I already know this drink's not any good I think we had a problem with the last one it's 
just to make this easier and show you it's a complete disaster you could probably actually just like eat that like a taffy stick or something look at that yeah and woo wait yeah well sorry to say but the drink didn't make it so well, that heater's going to town but prob problem is it's only the the very first top it's getting hot so oh. let's go ahead and look at this cookie here and I'll give it a small bite and see what we got Not good at all. No. Nope. It's uh it's past its prime for sure. Um completely stale. So I don't know what kind of fruit this is supposed to be, maybe apricots or something. Uh let's see we got uh some uh banana chips in here banana chip wasn't bad mm. dry fruits a little bit on the funky side it's almost probably, I would say a little bit still edible, but I wouldn't push it. Look at these, look at these raisins. Would you want to eat that? I don't know. Well, we can try one, I guess. I mean, it didn't taste bad. But I wouldn't push it. Peanut tasted all right. Look how that's an almond. Look how small that thing is. I don't know if that's an almond. Okay, well, whatever that was was stale. I guess we can try some of these uh, sunflower seeds here. Sunflower seeds are right. I think mostly the peanuts though are probably the best part. So Ooh, that thing's roasting hot. Like right in here, you can't even hardly touch it. It's so hot. But it's only heating the top part of this. I had this problem last time. I couldn't get it out. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is, is I flipped it around. I'm going to shove this back in here. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. And uh, we'll go from there. That's what we're going to do. I'll be right back. So I, I just wanted to kind of give an update on this heater. This heater got so hot that it burnt my, uh, it burnt my, my, uh, my gun mat. Yeah. Look at that. And it, like, I mean, this thing is, whew, you, you can hardly touch it. It's really, it's literally that hot. Like, yeah, anyway, that's that's insane. So this thing did get hot. So let's go ahead and give it a try. 
It's got a tear notch on the top. There you go. Let me take a smell of the bag. Uh, that doesn't really smell that bad. I gotta get rid of this heater though. It's it's burning like anything it touches. Well, not like burning it as like in a fire, but you don't want it discoloring anything. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, chicken noodle stew here. So the chicken started to discolor. Oh, it smells okay. Let's get a piece of what I believe is a carrot or tomato in there with a piece of the meat and we'll try it out. Well, honestly, it tastes all right. It doesn't taste bad. Um, your typical chicken stew. I could definitely use some pepper and some salt. Well, the main is still good, so. And I'm 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 guessing that these other three that are here, the reason why they're not good is because they have the MRE Star packaging to them. I don't know if those were military, and the military was a. Uh, the the main was military um, packaging, so I think that's probably why this is still good. All in all, main's great. Everything else, terrible. So that's good, but I'm not going to push it. You know what I mean? So definitely don't want to do that. I got no tingling in my mouth, nothing like that, so. Wet wipe's still good. It smells lemony. Nice and moist. Refreshing. There we are. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this video. Remember that, that giveaway is about to end. Someone's going to be a lucky winner. That headlamp and the uh, Masaga little knife there. So head on over, check that out, and get yourself entered. I will be posting that video sometime this evening. So until then, guys, have a great one.